Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CVPNet video series on data history and algorithm interview question series. And this video is about diagonal order traversal of a binary tree. So we have seen left view, right view and all that. Now we'll see a diagonal order traversal of a binary tree. This video is sponsored by Visual Assist, the well-known productivity extension for Visual Studio and Unreal Engine 4. Visual Assist speeds up development with features like smart navigation, code inspections and suggestions, powerful refactoring commands, debug assistance and a whole lot more, even spell checking in comments. Visual Assist is written by C++ developer for C++ developer. Start your free trial at holtomato.com. We think you will be presently surprised by what Visual Assist offers and in the small touch that turns good features into great ones. Link is given in the description field. So first of all, I'll explain what is diagonal. So this is one diagonal, this is another, and this is going to be another one. So see, what I want is, you give me two, four, seven, four in one list, and three, six, one in another one, and five and eight in the third one, and eight and nine in the fourth one. So there will be total four lists, and the elements would be like this. So this is what is called diagonal order traversal of a binary tree. Now the question is, how do you achieve that? And if you're following my videos, the previous video was vertical order traversal, where I was explaining you with the horizontal distance, right? So we were using some zero here, and then if you are going right direction, then you will go with zero plus one, meaning your parents, whatever the value will be, plus one. And if you're going left hand side, then it was like parents value minus one. But here that case won't work. You take your time and think about it. How would you go about this? I'll give you an example or, or, or a hint. So the levels of all these elements would be same, like they all will have zero, then only they can come in a single list. And if you're going left hand side, then they will be one. And this is one because you are just going right hand side. This is one and this is also one. So do you see some pattern here? Like if you are going to the right hand side, then whatever you have in the parent, you just copy that into the child. See, zero was there with the parent and you just copied that zero into the child. Whereas here, your parent was having one. So you just copied that into one here. But when you are going from here to left, that time you increment the count. So it's like this. If you have some node and you are going into the left hand side, then it's like plus one. And if you are going into the right hand side, you just copy whatever the value is. Okay, this is how it is going to be. And then you will end up having your proper list. Let's see how we'll do that. Or, or before that, um, let me do this. So you're going from here to here, then it is like plus one, whatever this value is, right? So this is going to be two. And as you're going from here to here, this is going to be two because you're just going to the right hand side of your node. Okay, so this is two. Now you're going here, which is three. And from here, you're going left, right? So this is also going to be three. So see, they are also inside in a diagonal with three number. So that's it. I, I know you understood the point. Now, there are several ways you can solve this. I like with recursion way. Okay, we'll see that because it's a tiny piece of code and it will do the job for you. And here's the code. So see, you have this helper function, you will call this helper function like this helper with root, obviously. So you will pass this two here, and then zero, and then this map. So I told you, right, like you need to return me a list. So this whole thing, this from here to uh, here is like one list. And then this is another list. And this is going to be another one. And this is going to be another one, right? So I'm going to create these lists with key value pair. So key is like this zero, zero, zero. So they all are having same key, right? So I will make a single key and have a value as an array. So see, I have a map with key as an integer and the value part would contain a vector. So there I can push back the values. Okay, so let's see that how would I do it. So we'll pass this map as a reference. So this is very important that we are passing it with this reference here if you see this because we want to update the same map in each and every call stack because we will have call stacks here. Okay, so the important point what I said was if you are going to the left, then you will increment it by one. And if you are going right, then you will keep as it is. So if you see this helper, so this is like a pre-order traversal. 
And when I'm going to the left hand side, in that case, I'm incrementing whatever I have. And if I'm going to the right hand side, I'm just passing whatever it is. Okay, so let's see how it actually do the job. So initially, we'll call with this root will be like you have two here, and this is zero, and you have this map here, you'll come inside this, you'll see this root is not equal to null. Yeah, then you will make an entry in the map with zero as a key and value would be two. Okay, so this is your key, right? Zero. Okay, this is your key and values are like two, four, seven and four. Okay, so we have already made one entry. We'll go further helper roots left roots left in this case is this two now better I would have gone for swapping these two lines, but it's okay. I'll go here. So next call is like three with one here because I'm having HD, whatever the HD we have. So this is not a horizontal distance. I could have changed the name, but just assume that this is some sort of a variable which is used to have this diagonal calculation. Okay. So this HD this time is one and we'll go here. We'll reach to this one again and then we'll have map HD, which is going to be one. So we have new entry with key is equal to one and value is going to be three. And same will go to five because we came from here to here and then we'll go from here to here. So next time we'll have five here with two because we have again incremented HD by one. So we'll have two with five and then we'll have eight with three because after making this entry, we'll call with eight and three here that will also have another entry like three with eight. Okay. And now you cannot go further because you don't have any left or right. So due to this, you will go back, you will go back from here to here, and then you'll try to go to right hand side. And the moment you go back, this HD plus one effect will go off because this was three because when you passed it, but when you are coming back and going to call this one, that time HD is two. You remember you had two and then you incremented this two plus one due to this, it became three and we had called this eight here. Okay. Now this eight is done. If you see this, this, this call is done. Now you don't have anything here. So it will go back. You will reach back here and then you are going to the right. The moment you are going to the right. So what is the HD value? It is two actually. So you will pass two here. See, and the right is eight. So now we are passing eight. I'll remove this. This is going to be eight and the value is two. So we will have eight here inside two key. So see, we have second key with five and eight. So that's what we needed. Okay. So similarly, we'll populate all the keys with all the values here. So ultimately it will be like this two, four, seven, four, one and comma six, five and eight are complete eight and nine. This is how it is going to be. And we had called this helper function from our function so that we can get all these lists inside this map. So this map was taken as a reference. So you don't have to return anything and all that. That's why I have kept uh, the return type as void. Uh, we are getting everything inside this map because it was passed as a reference. Okay. So this map is already filled with the data. You can use it or you can print it. Correct. So I know for this video, the prerequisites were you, you need to know what are, what are the different types of traversal of a binary tree. If you don't know, you please go ahead and watch my videos. I have explained binary tree traversal with bits and pieces. You will be able to understand it with no doubt. And I hope we are done here. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care. See you in the next videos.